How to spot a silent majority Trump supporter. I've talked to a lot of people over the years and I've noticed a few things about undeclared silent Trump supporters. So why would somebody want to stay silent about their support for Donald Trump? Well, number one, a lot of people are worried they might get into trouble or they might get fired or some crap like that. Say, for instance, if somebody works for a big old liberal company and they show their support for Trump, they're worried they might get fired or some crap like that. Or maybe they're afraid to put like a Trump sign on their front yard because they know the landlord's a big old liberal and they might get evicted or something like that. Because that's the type of BS world we live in nowadays. People have to fear about showing their support for an American president. Well anyways, Trump supporters have certain traits and qualities about them. Check this out right here. Number one, the Gadsden flag. You see this flag right here? This don't tread on me flag? You are never going to see a liberal hippie Harris Wall supporter sporting this flag right here. A lot of Republicans and Trump supporters have this flag, you know, like on a bumper sticker, on a shirt, or whatever it is. Guaranteed, this flag right here is code for a Donald Trump supporter. Number two, lifted trucks and Jeeps. If a dude has like a gas guzzler truck or something like that, it's 99% sure that he's a Donald Trump supporter or he's a Republican, or he's a conservative. You're never gonna see a Harris Waltz BSer with a big old lifted truck. It just doesn't happen. Most of those liberal Harris Wall supporters have Toyota Priuses. This is one thing that I've noticed. Number three, if they're overly patriotic. One thing that I've noticed about liberals and Democrats is they're never overly patriotic, meaning they never wear American flag shirts they never wear American flag hats or jackets or something like that, or American flag boots. I don't know, that's just one thing I've noticed. I mean, one thing I noticed too is a lot of Republicans that support Trump will have their flags out during election season. A lot of Harris Waltz BSers don't love the country enough to put that crap out on their front yard or on their flagpole. Number four, if they have hunting gear and they like Bass Pro Shop type of stuff, one thing that I noticed is Donald Trump fans love their outdoorsman type stuff. They like going to Cabela's and they like going to Bass Pro Shops. A lot of liberals do not like this crap right here. So if you see a dude sporting this type of stuff right there, 99% chance he's a Donald Trump Republican. Number five, boots, cowboy hats, long beards, and mustaches. If a dude's wearing this type of stuff right there, 99% chance He's a Donald Trump Republican. You're never going to see a Harris Waltz liberal dude with a big ol' long beard or with a big ol' handlebar mustache or something like that wearing boots and a cowboy hat. It just doesn't happen. Number six, they listen to vintage country music. I'm not talking about this brand new crap that I don't even know what country music is nowadays, but I'm talking about the stuff from the 70s, 80s, 90s and maybe the early 2000s, you're not going to see a liberal hippie democrat listening to, you know, to vintage country music. They're not going to have Hagar or whatever that guy's name is, Haggard and Johnny Cash playing. It just doesn't happen. Now I know, yeah, Willie Nelson, yeah, that guy claimed to be a Kamala Harris. I'm not talking about that pussy right there. And I'm not talking about the wannabe country pop star, Taylor. I'm talking about real country music. You know, the stuff from the freaking 90s and crap like that. Number seven, Jesus and the American Eagle. Anybody who likes American Eagles and who's into Jesus and religion and stuff like that, 99% chance they are not a Harris Wall supporter. I can guarantee you if they have Jesus flags or they have eagles all over the house or whatever like that, they are Donald Trump Republicans. Take that one to the bank right there. And number eight, they wear a lot of camouflage and they support the troops. You're never going to see a liberal hippie with a bumper sticker that says we support our troops and he has like camouflage pants on. That just doesn't happen right there. Trust me, I mean I've seen a lot of crowds and I've talked to a lot of people. Liberals who support Harris Walls don't wear this type of stuff and they usually don't support the troops. And that's just how I noticed. I've noticed the stuff. And uh, so yeah, there you have it folks.
Vote Trump. Trump 2024.